I'm Carlene Rose. Welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we're going to start our yoga practice in Mountain Pose. So come to a comfortable standing position. Um, got your feet about hip width distance apart, really grounding into the earth with the tripod of your feet. So um, it's got the ball of your big toe, little toe in your heel. So really grounding to the earth there, lifting up tall, lifting up from your ground, from, from the ground all the way up through your inner thighs, deep core muscles, standing tall tall, extending long through the crown, hands come to heart center, from your Anjali, your Namaste Mudra. And inhale here, we'll just start with warming up our breath, activating our Mula Bandha breath. So inhaling um, through the low belly, everything expands wide, exhale, squeeze everything in, squeeze all the air out. Inhale here, exhale. Bring that big Ujjayi, victorious sound. Inhale here. Exhale. Keeping that breath going through the entire practice. We'll get a little bit of movement going though here. So inhaling, really grounding into the earth with your left foot. Right leg's gonna lift tall, coming to just a 90 degree um, stand with the knee. Inhale, exhale. And switch sides, grounding into the earth with your right leg, lifting up tall, lifting left leg. Left foot plants down, grounding into the earth here, lifting up tall, holding this balance and seeing if you can twist towards the right. Inhale, switching sides again, lifting left knee and extra balance challenge, twisting over to the left. This time grounding into the earth, lifting the right leg, we're gonna come into a tree pose. So you can either um, place your knee above your ankle, below your knee, above your knee, just not on your knee. <laughs> so coming to that tree pose balance, inhale, exhale. And gently release that, grounding into the earth. Now with the right foot, left foot lifts, plants comfortably on your leg wherever you want to place it. Exhale. And gently release that and making your way uh, towards the back of your mat. You're going to bend your knees, coming to a forward fold. So first, bending over um, with bent knees. It's going to help us protect our back and our spine and our legs from going into too deep of a stretch too soon. So we start with this bent knee, wave the spine long, and then come to that first edge of stretch with our legs. From here, you're going to walk your hands out, coming into a plank position onto your knees, flowing through chaturanga with healthy shoulder alignment. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Wave yourself in and up for cobra. You can even come into more of a you know, low cobra here if that feels better. And exhale back to down dog. Very nice. Now from here, pedal out your feet, warming up the backs of your legs, into your calf muscles. Slight bend in the knees, wave your spine long, create room for your neck. You don't want your shoulders crushing into your neck. That's not a great way to do down dog. And then pressing back, letting your heels reach towards the earth. Great job. Now from here, tiny bend in the knees and elbows as you prepare lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, we're gonna come through core plank, but knee is gonna touch the upper outer arm on the right side. Inhale up, exhale back to the outer arm. Inhale up, exhale. This time hold it here. You can even micro bend in the elbows for just a moment and plant your foot on the outside of your right hand. So now we've got a 
wider stretch here, like a lizard's pose. Holding it here, you can even come onto the back knee if that feels better to you. And if you want a little bit deeper of a stretch, you can come onto your elbows, bring yourself closer to the ground. You can even come onto the pinky toe edge of the right leg and let that knee fall open. Breathing into that stretch. One more inhale and exhale. As you walk yourself back up, now walk your foot in so that it's in line with the hip. Really gr ground into the earth with your feet, bending your back knee and rolling yourself in and up for your high lunge. We'll do some fist of fire lunges. So inhale here, exhale, bending the back knee. Inhale up, exhale. Exhale, one more lunge here, inhale up, exhale, very nice. Then we're going to inhale and exhale, hands come to heart center and namaste Anjali mudra and just twist to the right, facing your right leg. Holding this twist for just another moment. From here. Fun challenge, you're going to open yourself up into warrior two. So we've got right knee facing forward, hips are facing the center of your mat, left foot is grounding naturally into the earth. Inhale here, exhale, coming out into warrior two, and just holding this for a couple of breaths. Settling into that pose for a moment, and exhale, cartwheel the hands, to the earth, step yourself back to plank onto your knees, lowering through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare, waving in and up to whatever cobra height you want. Exhale, back to down dog. Pedaling out your feet again, noticing the difference already between the right and left side. And from here, slight bend in the knees and elbows as you prepare. Left leg lifts high this time. Exhale, bring knee to the upper left arm. Inhale up. Exhale through core plank, coming to the upper left arm. Inhale up. And exhale. Last time, hold it here for a moment. If you want, you can bend your uh, arms for a bit more of an arm challenge. And then step left foot to the outside of the left hand. Inhale. Long spine. Keep the stretch here. If that feels good for you today, you can bring the stretch down onto your knee. You can even come down onto your elbows. Like we did on the other side, if you want to come to the pinky toe edge of that left foot, opening the knee just a bit and getting deeper into that inner thigh stretch. Make sure you're still using your mula bun to breath through these stretches and movements. Wherever you are, walking yourself back up. Left foot comes in line with the left hip. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bending your back knee, rolling yourself in and up to your high lunge position. Inhale here, exhale, fist of fire lunges. Exhale, one more here, exhale. And now hands come to heart center in your Anjali or Namaste Mudra. Hips are going to stay Stubbornly facing where they are, you just twist your upper body towards the left. So now you're facing over your left leg. So you can hold this twisting balance challenge for one more breath. And now again for that fun transition, lifting up, grounding the back foot and coming into your warrior two. So finding a comfortable position for your back foot, make sure that your knees and toes are facing the same direction and really sinking down into that leg. You don't want your knee coming forward of your ankle, but you do want it to be sinking low into the pose. One last inhale here as you settle into warrior two. Exhale, curl your hands to the earth. Step your foot back, lowering through your chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. 
rolling in and up to your cobra, and exhale back to down dog. Now from here, walk your feet towards the middle of your mat. Toes are gonna, or fingers are gonna come towards your toes. Bring your feet probably about the width of your mat. You want them a bit wider than hips. We're gonna come into a malasana yogi squat. So sitting down low into your heels. You want to make sure, again, that knees and toes are facing in line. Hopefully all of that inner thigh stretching and working has got your legs ready for this pose. Take your elbows and see if you can press your knees open just a little bit wider. As you inhale here, holding this stretch. The Malasana Yogi Squat is so good for you. I don't know if you notice when kids before they learn how to sit and stand incorrectly like we tend to do when we're adults this is how they sit they'll naturally sit down in a position very much like this it's very healthy for you a lot of other places in the world um, sit in positions similar to this normally we westernized it and apparently lost the ability to do this in our daily lives so we practice it in yoga so we can get some of that back so holding this position for just a bit longer if this is too much on your knees or your flexibility. You can practice it up here. You can also practice it with a blanket um, or some books or something underneath your heels and make your way down towards the ground. So bring the ground up to you as much as you need as you are working on the stretch. Now one last bit of challenge before we go into our um, final resting pose. Interlace all fingers except the first one. We'll Charlie's Angels Mudra. Arms out in front of you. We're gonna inhale here and exhale, lift. So some actual squats. Inhale down, exhale, lift. You'll notice as we're doing the squat movement, we're not going quite as low as we do when we do the stretches. We're really making sure as you do this that you are sitting your weight into your heels, not coming forward onto your toes. And knees and toes are still facing the same direction. And last one here, inhale, toes come forward or face forward. Exhale back to your forward fold. You can even walk your hands or feet in a little bit closer to each other. Wave back and forth. You can bend one knee and then the other. Now from here, planting your right arm bending your right knee left leg's a bit straighter for you left arm comes to the sky stretch in our outer hip a bit exhale switch side so left hand plants under left shoulder left knee bends right leg straightens out right arm reaches to the sky and exhale back to your forward fold Bent knees here, of course. Wave the spine long, then come to that edge of stretch. Hopefully you notice that your muscles are a bit warmer. You can stretch a bit, bit deeper without hurting yourself, of course. And from here, making your way to sit. Come on to the earth. You can come to rest with your feet together, knees open, through a Klein butterfly pose. Stretching out in this position for a few more breaths. Here, bring your knees back together. We're gonna lay on our left side. So left leg is long, stretching out. Bend your right knee, grab the back, of, or grab your foot with your hand. You can rest your head on your arm and see if you can get a bit of a quad stretch. Should feel good here. And we'll roll to the other side. 
the right leg is stretching out long, you're just resting on your right side, catching your uh, heel with your left hand. You can prop your head up if that's easier for you. Get a, into the quads, which we used in our squat. And from here, take any yogi's choice stretches that you need. Um, if you're feeling good and ready, you can come into your final shavasana, your resting pose. Stay here for a few minutes, letting all of that energy that you just cultivated kind of settle into your body, settle into your new alignment, take all of that power with you through the rest of the day. I hope you enjoyed this Malasana squat practice. Definitely look forward to seeing you on the mat next time. So be sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel. You'll get notifications whenever a new video goes up. And of course, in the comments or in the description below, I've got the link to the League of Nerd Yogi's email list where I have exclusive content for you. So make sure you sign up. Namaste.